Next, we are going to look at collector dolls. A, a notable example is the Pleaser doll. Pleaser doll is a group of dozens of crypto artists, entrepreneurs, and investors that was formed to bid on works by a high profile digital artist. The group spent $5.4 million on an NFT affiliated with whistleblower and activist Edward Snowden and also bought the Wu-Tang Clan album Once Upon a Time in Shaolin for $4 million. Once they were purchased, these works became the property of the DAO's members, who can manage them as they see fit. They can vote to exhibit them somewhere or break them into 1,000 NFTs and sell the pieces to the public, or simply keep them locked away in a physical or virtual vault. In a classic DAO model, all of these decisions would be made on-chain through a system of token-based voting. You can see the works owned by the Pleaser DAO in the gallery section on their website. The uniqueness of what Pleaser offers lies in its dedication to the arts. Art collectors typically pool their funds together so that the community as a whole can invest in extravagant art collectibles, with each member owning their fair share. As a typical DAO, it doesn't have a central gov governing authority and network protocols are decided through open voting systems.